Hey everybody, Willie here with another Daily Hope devotional. And we are here today in beautiful, sunny Southern California. And what a gift that it is to be alive. God has shown us like the depths of love that he has for us um, through his creation and through this community that we live in and, and that we're a part of, it's awesome. In Malachi chapter one, um, God starts out, he, he, he talks about how much he loves his children, how much he loves his people. And then as we progress in, in chapter one, starting in verse six, um, God starts talking about um, uh, uh, some of the sacrifices that his people are giving him that, that actually aren't so good. And uh, so he says this, the Lord of heaven's armies says to the priests, a son honors his father and a servant respects his master. If I am your father and master, where are the honor and respect I deserve? You have shown contempt for my name. Now, as a father, I have had these talks oftentimes with my kids, like, y'all are disrespecting your daddy. And uh, it can be a, a frustrating time. I, I, I think, it, you know, in those moments um, of disciplining your kids or, or raising your kids, you can feel um, that kind of dishonor and disrespect. And it says this, it says, but you ask, how have we ever shown contempt for your name? You have shown contempt by offering defiled sacrifices on my altar. Then you ask, how have we defiled the sacrifices? You defile them by saying the altar of the Lord deserves no respect. When you give blind animals as sacrifices, isn't that wrong? And isn't it wrong to offer animals that are crippled and diseased? Try giving gifts like that to your governor and see how pleased he is, says the Lord of heaven's armies. Now, I don't know about you guys, but, uh, you know, around the holidays or birthdays, um, oftentimes you receive gifts, right? And, 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 and uh, you know, I think about how I would feel if someone had a, a toy that they'd played with for years. There's, you know, it's a, a little G.I. Joe with the arms broken off, missing some of the, the you know, supplies for it. Um, I'd be kind of bummed if, if someone wrapped it up and then gave it to me and, and had me unwrap it expecting, you know, a, a nice gift. And, and I can only imagine, um, you know, how God must have felt um, when receiving these offerings um, of defiled animals, you know, animals that were, uh, you know, it says blind and diseased animals. Like what kind of sacrifice is that for God? Um, and so, so today, as we think about um, our offering, our sacrifice that we're giving to the Lord, um, you know, I don't want to be um, someone who gives God um, anything but the best um, because he deserves the best. And so when I think about like giving my whole life to God, um, I want to give everything that I have to him um, so that I can live a life of honor that pleases the Lord. And I want to encourage us today, um, God has given you um, something that is a priceless gift that you can give back to Him. And that is your whole heart, your whole life. Um, this morning, I want to challenge us to give God everything that we have. Um, to not give Him a partial offering or a defiled offering or a blemished offering, um, but to give God our whole hearts, our whole life, that we would be a people that trust God with our time, with our energy, with our resources, that we say, Jesus, you can have it all. Uh, be pleased with this offering that we are giving to you. We don't want to regift something and give God our second best, but we want to give him the best. And so today, as you reflect on, on Malachi chapter one, remember you serve a God that loves you deeply and is deserving of our best. Let's give him our whole hearts, our whole lives. Let's give him everything today. God bless you guys and have a great day.